And also celebrating a birthday is Brussels' famous comic strip center, which is marking its 25th anniversary with two new exhibitions. The Comic Museum has also announced plans for an international expansion. Let's take a look. Complete with life-size replicas of Belgium's world-famous comic heroes like Gingerhead Reporter Tintin and Cowboy Lucky Luke, the Comic Strip Center attracts some 200,000 visitors per year and is one of Brussels' top 10 attractions. Recognizing its 25 years of success, the museum announces that it's ready to open new branches in other countries. We have now in 25 years an experience of uh, making comic strip exhibitions. There are not so many doing this. And it takes a lot of effort uh, to uh, make an exhibition uh, here to do an event. And in fact, we are now at a point that we can use our know-how uh, for other uh, places uh, outside of Brussels. To pay tribute to the creator of one of the museum's most popular characters, the venue opened an exhibition solely devoted to Belgian artist Pierre Culliford. Under the pen name Peyo, he created the world-famous Smurfs in the 1950s. While visiting the new show on her father's career, Culliford's daughter Veronique remembers what it was like to grow up with the blue creatures. In fact, I always see the Smurf in my life because I was born the same year as the Smurf. And I have the big chance that, I have a, that my father is working at home. Then each time when I'm going back from school, I'm going in the, in the office and say hello to my father. And from time to time, I can sit on his knees. He took my hand and we can draw a Smurf together. To also recognize contemporary artists, the museum rewards Flemish cartoonist Peter de Puter with his own auditorium for Dicky, a comic strip that follows the adventures of a mustachioed Belgian farmer. Dicky was crowned the best Dutch language comic book of the year when it came out in 2001, and de Puter has recently begun to expand into film and animation. When I was thir 13, year, 13 years old, I came here with my father, and uh, I looked around, and I never imagined that I could have. Well, I could maybe imagine to have one page in the, in the museum. I was dreaming of that, but now I have a, a whole room, so it's really incredible for me. The museum says 80% of its visitors come from outside Belgium, including around 40% from France and at least 3% from China. In honor of the museum's 1989 founding, all visitors born in the same year have received free admission during the anniversary's weekend. Liu Wenwen, CCTV.